and welcome to another fun-filled 3D Max tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up your material editor, apply it to an object, and get it in game. We're just going to check to make sure your plugins work. If you've come from the NSRS forums, hopefully you've read over the PDF, got all your plugins set up. If not, head over to rfactor.net, download your plugins for your version of Max, the Dev Toolpack 2 to get the Core Shaders mask to dump into the Hardware Shaders folder, and go to Customize, Unis Setup, make sure you're in Metric. There's two quick ways to pull up your Material Editor. You can click here, or you can just hit M for your shortcut on your keyboard. Now, I know some tutorials show that they use all these balls, and on and on and on, and some people have them set up with 10 across. Well, with our factor, use a multi sub object, so all of your textures are on one ball. So we'll click standard, multi sub, who cares? Okay, now here's where all your textures will go. We're just going to build a basic building, stick it in game, just to make sure your plugins work and to just kind of show you the flow of things. So we'll just set up the texture here, just call it block. Block. Now, another thing with Max Tutorials, it'll show you click here, grab the bitmap, but we need it to be in the ISI G Motor material uh, format. So let's click Standard and then G Motor Material. Alright, now here's all of our options for R Factor. Here's all the shaders, which we'll only use about a quarter of them. But for this example, we just use T1, which is the basic shader. So let's go grab our texture. There we go. And hit copy all. Now with this, I'm not going to hit copy all because I want to show you the error that pops up. Okay, so let's just make a simple box. Nothing special, we'll just uh, f five meters. All right, hit Z, we'll just quick zoom. I always like to work in Edible Poly. Now since this is just gonna be a simple building and it's in the end field, I always delete the bottom. It's just a wasteful poly if you're not gonna see the bottom of the building. Alright, so since all four sides are going to be the white block, let's select them. Scroll down here. Alright, now here's your ID 1, and that's set ID. You need to type in 1, enter. Left click off. You need to left click and hold and drag it to the box. Okay, there is our block, and I kind of like the way it's set up already, so I'm not going to touch it. So now let's do our roof. Let's click here. Since we already applied the, the texture to the sides, more than likely this is just going to pop straight up to the roof. As you can see, roof two. Okay. Well, I just want a tighter line there of the texture. So let's go over here to X form and I think it's V. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we got our box set up, we got our texture applied. So let's set it up to get in game. When you first set up Max, you're going to have down to here. I like to click this, add another one, and since I only use Max for R Factor, I put the GMT converter here. You're going to have to click more and then scroll down and find your GMT converter, and then you'll get all this fun stuff. So next item, up for bid, click select it. All right, we're going to set it up for in game. Lot out 500. We're not driving on it, get rid of hat, receive shadows, lit at night. Since it's a box, pointy normals. I'll just click this group 32. It won't see in your rear view. All right, let's just call it a different name. Building one. What I like also like to do is create a test scene file on my desktop. So anytime I export something out of Max, Whatever it is, if I set it up, it goes straight to my scene file on my desktop. That way I don't have to type anything in, I just have to copy and paste. 
I know Max can set up your scene file for you, but I don't like the idea of screwing up completely, and I also like to jump around from project to project, so I'm not always working in the same one. So this covers my butt from not screwing up another track scene file. So you check it, and then also I've already done this, but you can either drop your GMT on your desktop, a folder on your desktop, or what I like to do is create subfolders for my GMTs and my textures. All right, so that's all that's done. Let's click Do Mesh. Okay, now note there's our air. So it says roof. So now we know we need to go back to our roof texture. And if you can see here, there's nothing there. Red box there. Click Copy All. It's all green and happy now. And do mesh again. All right. So here's my test scene file. Let's copy that. Control C it. All right. Go into the scene file. Open it up in Notepad. Control V. All right. I'm going to pause this and fire up R Factor to make sure it works. All right. As you can see, our object is in game. No issues here. Textures on it, track load it fine. So there you go. You have uh, so you know how to set up your material editor and get a basic object in game. Uh, if you have any questions, the NSRS forum should be open shortly to the public. And uh, if you have any comments, you can post them here or over at my forum. So thanks for watching.